Inertia. Thank you X's first solo exhibit at Sotheby's Los Angeles, showcasing some of his finest work. Large canvas paintings with digital screen integration, including on-chain authenticity, marrying fine art with technology, layers of meaningful detail, layers like human life, including what he calls the heartbeat of the painting. I knew I needed this interview. I knew I wanted the interview. I did plenty of research and I was passionate and I knew I needed to get in touch with him. At this point, there was only one thing left to do. So the weather that day in LA wasn't that great. And so we didn't really go into it with very good expectations. We didn't hear back from Thank You X. We weren't sure if he was going to be there or not. And we just kind of were going blindly into it. But we thought, if anything, we'd come up with some pretty good content and it would give us something to talk about later on the show. So we pulled up to Sotheby's and found our parking, which actually took longer than we planned. But once Deb and I got together, we came around the corner and to our surprise, the man of the hour was there. Um, and so we are here checking out his latest body of art. It is a hybrid of both digital and canvas. So we have some pieces like this over here that has an actual display integration into the screen. Yeah, so this is actually uh, infinite objects. I use the infinite object screens and uh, embed it through the back of the painting. So cut a hole, it's like a wood panel. Um, so these ones are hard. Um, only I'm allowed to touch it. Uh, so yeah, cut a hole in it, put the screen through back, and it displays like the NFT that kind of acts as like the heartbeat to the painting. That's awesome. Is the NFT available for sale with the art, or how does that work? It comes with one it's package. It's yeah. one oh, package. Awesome. Yeah. This okay. one's not, no longer available. Okay. But yeah. Okay. Uh, are any of these have it, any sorry. hybrids that are still available? This one right here. Okay. Oh, I like this one too. I yeah. Like the detail inside. You don't realize how like grainy and realistic oh, yeah. it is until you really get in on it. And I just, I love this And one. you'll notice the difference between this one and the other one. This one's very man-made on the inside. Ah, so it's, yeah. it's, this one feels like this like man-made underground kind of. That one, and yeah, this one is the very, beach. Well, natural. it's more of like a natural cave yes. kind of vibe. Yeah, yeah. Um, so with these, I either go for like a very like aggressively man-made, like fine, everything's like perfect, or the opposite, which is like very, you know, organic. Yeah. If you keep going, you go too far, and then you can't reverse that. Yeah. Like how you can in digital. So, um, yeah. I kind of like take my time with it, add a little bit, take my time with it, add a little bit. But um, yeah. So tell me a little bit about when you're doing the messages or like you're hiding meanings inside. Do you do it it'll like on your? From, it'll come from everything. It'll... Someone will call me. Yeah. And we'll have a conversation, and I'll write something they say. Oh, and I'll that's think cool. over it. Oh, that's amazing. Um, but I'll send them a picture. I always send people a picture when I'm on the phone. Oh, that's cool. Them. That's so awesome. They'll call me like, oh, I'm painting right now. And they're like, oh, yeah, da da da. da. And they'll be like, and I'll be like, check your phone. Oh, that's my new piece. And then I'll send them a video of me going, and just painting right over so you can never see it. Oh, that's cool. Um, so there's a lot of depth. You know. That's really cool. Is that how you get all the textures? And Yeah, I mean, tons of different ways to get textures, whether it's like, you know, using brushes, my hands. Like, a, I use like a cardboard piece thing uh, that comes with it. So, like, when you get groceries, sometimes there's like a piece of cardboard at the bottom of the grocery bags that yeah. are really sturdy. Oh. I save all those and I use those as like, like essentially like squeegees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all like taken all like kind of like move with it. Ah. So I use it as a brush. Is that basically. how you do your circular motions? Uh, or sometimes. You, okay, you don't have yeah. to tell me that. Well, no, I mean, <laughs> not a big secret. It's either a brush or some, or yeah. like okay. a squeegee type thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Cool. Or like these ones are like uh, a very wide brush that I have. It's like a custom yeah. brush. Oh. Um, <laughs> you can see some of the textures here too. That's on the same brush. It's like a very wide, like this big brush. Almost like a broom? Kind of, but yeah. it's very soft bristles. Oh. It's like a synthetic um, bristles, but yeah, they're... Yeah, because you can tell it's really fine. Yeah. yeah. It's like this weird thing that I have to order from China that's like, you know, this weird wow. thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then spray paint and, you know, watered down latex, house paint, acrylic, oil pastels. 
kind of a mixture of everything. Cause that, like for instance, like on a piece that's black, you want to have different textures, so it's not just one. Right. So you can see there's some that are like more glossy, some that are matte. Right. Yeah. Just like uh, you know, grays, things like that. Like darker even blues right there, which you can see only yeah. really in person. Um, but these all started as like very vibrant, bright, colorful pieces first, mm -hmm. and then oh. I decided to kind of like hide it. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, yeah. Basically, like I just I'm known for doing these like really bright pieces, and so yeah. I kind of wanted to like challenge myself and yeah. do like the opposite of that, but okay. still have it be it's all the same actual color palettes. As So this one, um, it's called A Glimpse of Hope, and the idea of it is just like, I wanted it to be like this visual poem. Mm -hmm. um, it's two minutes and 30 seconds, which is like a lot longer than my traditional NFTs, which are generally around like, either like 15, 16 seconds or 32 seconds. Um, but this one's two minutes and 30 seconds. And it's just the idea of like going through all these phases and kind of right when you think something's done, the music is so dramatic, but then, and you kind of think it's the end and then something else happens. And, right. Uh, you know, keeps you going. I love this one. It's my favorite. I like how you put it in this room. Yeah. Darkened it. Yeah, we wanted to have its own room, and um, it just, at first the idea was gonna be in there, but then I was like, you know what, we have to have, we bought this, like, spe like this specific uh, sound bar, oh. because it's not too overwhelming for this room. Mm -hmm. like, we, have, we bought a bunch of different ones and tested them all in here, mm -hmm. and this one was like the right amount of, has the good bass, the good sound, yeah. um, yeah. without being like too echoey and overwhelming. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, we had ones that were, we had uh, Sonos ones that were white, which looked better, I will mm -hmm. say, but uh, they were a bit too overwhelming. Yeah. yeah. This is perfect, so. Perfect. Yeah. And he's right, it is perfect. These paintings are perfectly married together. Colors that speak and dance, that stand out. Patterns intricately woven together. They seem to dance. They tell a story. At first, I wasn't sure what I was looking at when I was looking at these paintings. But after meeting Thank You X and hearing the true story behind what goes into this art, you get a true appreciation for what goes into it. This mastery is not something that can be easily replicated. And to watch something at the forefront of digital art and fine art together was truly something that I love to see in person. Thank you, X, for sharing your art.